Welcome to the Alzheimer's Association International Conference First Timers and Refresher Webinar. My name is Darren Mandola, Vice President Global Conferences and Events. Myself and my colleague, Dr. Claire Sexton, Senior Director of Scientific Programs and Outreach, will go through a few of the highlights you can expect in the upcoming week. This year, we have, as today, July 11, 8,588 attendees. That's seven over 7,000 in person, over 1,500 virtually. In addition, 38% of these are first-time attendees. We have about 57% female, 37% male. And the geographic locations, 70% North American, 30% international. That tends to trend correctly when we're in Europe. That changes where it's 70% international and 30% North American. The top three countries represented attendance-wise are the United States, United Kingdom, and Canada. This is a map of the world. 93 countries are represented at AEIC, and this shows the significance, the impact, and the reach of our conference around the world. This is an overview of the conference program. Again, my colleague, Dr. Sexton, will dig deeper into this. The exhibit hall this year. This year, the exhibit hall is the largest in the history of AEIC. We have 132 companies, with 103 being from the U.S. and 29 being from international destinations. We have 222 total booths, nine product feeder presentations, which will be taking place throughout the conference in the exhibit hall on the stage in 33 business suites. In addition, we're still gonna continue the ask sessions. The ask sessions will be where the plenary speakers come to take a deeper dive and also award winners will be able to speak. This is an overview of the conference. I won't go through everything, but as you'll see, I'll point out some of the uh, larger things. Registration opens at 7.15, uh, goes into scientific sessions, then the exhibit hall opens at 8.30, followed by more scientific sessions and a plenary at 11 a.m., followed by lunch exhibits and then more uh, scientific sessions. Networking opportunities, probably is the number one thing we hear from attendees uh, next to the content of importance of attending AEIC. We have iStart reception on Monday. We have the student postdoc lounge. You can stop by any time, uh, Sunday through Thursday. We have this year, which is new, a first-timers networking lunch. This is just a lunch to go and network with your other um, first-time attendees. We have the Mix and Mingle Lounge, which is located in the Grand Hall to just go relax, talk to people. And then we have the box lunches in the Exhibit Hall. We also have two of our signature events, the Welcome Reception, which I invite everyone to attend, Sunday, July 28th, taking place at the Franklin Institute, along with the AEIC After Hours which is now in our third year. Um, it is by ticket only. So if you do not have tickets and want to attend, please go ahead and do so before they're gone. And that uh, will be taking place on Tuesday evening at 8.30 p.m. at the Fillmore. We also believe in wellness at the conference. So we give you different experiences throughout the conference. We have the Zen Den, which is located in the convention center. The Zen Den has guided meditation. We have sound baths this year, along with other opportunities. So please check your mobile app for the latest information. We also have yoga taking place Monday through Wednesday at 6 a.m. at the Marriott. And we also have the Wellness Zone, which takes place on the bridge over Arch Street. There you can get chair massages. You can hear about uh, nutritional eating from a licensed nutritionist. You can do aromatherapy, et cetera. 5K Rocky Run Walk. This is our 5K walk. Uh, many of you will remember that Rocky was filmed at, in Philadelphia. So our 
Rocky Run will start and finish at the Rocky Statue. This will take place on Tuesday at 6.15 a.m., and you can pick up your packets on Sunday and Monday at the registration desk. The convention center has um, a pretty easy layout. There's three levels. Level 100 is where you're going to have some meeting rooms and some ice start rooms and the press office. Level 200 is where you're going to have your plenary and your exhibit hall, as well as some other uh, meeting rooms. And level 300 will be, again, meeting rooms and the speaker ready room. The, the purple star represents the convention center. We have over 11 hotels in our AEIC block this year. You'll see number one, the Philadelphia Marriott downtown, which is highlighted in gold. This is highlighted because this is where the vast majority of our ancillary meetings taking place outside of the convention center will be held. Although it isn't shown on the map, the Marriott, uh, the Marriott downtown can be uh, accessed directly from the convention center. There are also 11 other hotels. What you'll see here is just how compact our block is and pretty much every single hotel is in with a short walking distance of the convention center. The virtual platform takes place, uh, opens on Saturday, July 27th for agenda building. Virtual platform is unique to AAC because this is all real time. You won't have to wait. You'll be getting the same information virtually as the people who are attending live. Um, daily reminders will be sent out with your login information. And over here is some things you could expect to see there. I mentioned before the mobile app. The mobile app is pretty much your one-stop shop. That is where you'll get the most up-to-date information. So I highly suggest everyone download your mobile app, uh, as well as if you have any questions throughout the week, look for someone in a black uniform. There'll be a bunch of us there. Um, feel free to ask any questions you need or any support you need um, from those people. Also, the registration desk is also a great resource. And with that, I am going to turn it over to my colleague, Dr. Claire Sexton. Thank you so much, Darren, for that uh, overview. So next, on to the scientific program of AAIC. So first, I wanted to give a huge thanks to our scientific program committee. The scientific program committee have played an invaluable role in curating the scientific program and have been led by Sebastian Palmquist and Vija van der Fleer. We're so grateful for our co-chairs and all of our members. And the SPC have been crucial in creating a really wide spanning scientific program. So this year, uh, we have over 100 different scientific sessions, and there's around 4,500 poster pre presentations. And all of the scientific sessions and posters are available online. So whether you're joining us in person in Philadelphia or online, there's a wealth of information at your fingertips. There's a number of different types of sessions, and I wanted to start off with the plenary sessions. The plenary sessions address the field's most crucial and compelling topics, and they're delivered by world-leading experts. And they're really a great place to start with the big picture. So they have the widest audience, and there's no competing sessions for this. If we look through the week, then they begin on Sunday with Eddie Lee uh, with neuropathology in a multidisciplinary age. On Monday, we have Timothy Miller talking about ASOs. We have Henny Halstead uh, for looking at what we can learn from centenarians. On Tuesday, we have Savannah Allady on bilingualism and Clive Ballard on psychosis in Alzheimer's disease. While on Wednesday, Tara Spires Jones will be talking about synaptic oligomeric tau, and Ricardo Allegri will be talking about dementia research in low and middle income countries. Finally, on Thursday, Risa Sperling will be talking about clinical Alzheimer's disease and Mike Weiner on ADNE. So in addition to the plenary sessions, there are other multiple types of sessions at AAIC. And two of these are the perspective sessions and the featured research sessions. 
So perspective sessions provide both an expert review of recent advances and propose a roadmap for the future. So they incorporate multiple viewpoints to stimulate original discussion and debate. So you can think of these as akin to perspective articles or to review papers. So these are a great place to start and a great place to get a big picture overview of perhaps a field that you're not necessarily working in day to day. We also have the featured research sessions. These debut and discuss innovative and impactful research findings, and they draw together multiple studies that share a common focus. So then these are where you can dive deeper into the details of studies and would be more akin to a series of original articles. Further sessions still are the developing topic sessions, which include late breaking research shared for the first time at AAIC, and then also the lightning presentation rounds, which comprise four minute presentations from students and researchers. New this year, we also have AAIC for all. This is a new track where then on uh, Thursday, uh, we have members of the public can join a community track and clinicians and healthcare professionals can uh, join a professional track. It aims to share some of the take homes across the a whole four and a half days of the conference in a easily digestible fashion. So it is free to attend. So please do share with your networks. There is an easy registration process at owls.org slash AAIC for all. And anybody can join. So people can sign up and just attend this either online or in person for free. Or if you're registered for the full AAIC, please do join us in those rooms on the final uh, day and you'll be able to, to hear uh, the take homes from the conference and any key findings that you may have missed. To continue engaging with the Alzheimer's Association year round, we have a host of future scientific meetings. This includes our AIC advancement series on modernizing diagnosis in Tokyo, Japan in September, which will be followed by the AIC advancements on exploring equity in diagnosis in Chicago in November. Next spring, we have a suite of meetings, including the AIC Advancements APOE and Lipid Biology meeting, AIC Neuroscience Next, and also our AIC Satellite Symposium will be in Lima, Peru. Finally, AIC 2025 will be held in Toronto next year. Another way to keep engaged year round is through iStart. So iStart is our membership society. It has over 13,000 members worldwide in over 120 different countries. We have 30 professional interest areas which you are able to join. And there's a lot of ways to find out more information during AAIC. You can visit the iStart booth. You can approach any of our ambassadors in the purple shirts like you can see here. And then you can also attend peer day uh, on Saturday and attend an introduction to iStart meeting. So please do, if you signed up as part of your membership, uh, your registration process to AIC, find out more about iStart and continue engagement uh, year round. For now, uh, I'll say goodbye and uh, thank you. And we look forward to seeing you in Philadelphia and online. Bye for now.